We've been preparing for this journey for around five years. The title for the longest journey in a two-person outfit is currently held by the Dutch twins, Jay and Matt Balsma, who walked 2,237 kilometers from Sweden to Portugal in a two-person dragon. We're going 3,400 kilometers from Toronto, Canada to Venice Beach in LA. That's our final destination. Mark's parents were in a car accident two days before setting out to beat the record for a tandem journey from Toronto to LA. I, I think they were planning to use a squid outfit. Mark's dad was killed on impact. His mom passed away in the hospital 12 hours later. Apparently her last words to Mark were, finish this for us. My parents adopted Mark. And we grew up as brothers. Hey, we raised 2,430 bucks. That's like 27 bucks a day for the whole 90 days. That'll work. Look, I told you the conditions that we do it on. Mm -hmm. One, you move out of the house after we're done. Mm -hmm. Look, I need my own space. Mm -hmm. And two, I get the front. I get the head, yes, because I don't want to smell your sardine farts for the next three months. Mm -hmm. This journey, well, it, it's hard for him, but I think it's necessary. We sewed water bags into the suit evenly to distribute the weight. And you just fill it up right here in the back. So we've got these uh, pouches in here where we can put our personal belongings. Oh, and there's, uh, there's all these, these cameras here for um, uh, you guys. 7 a.m. June 1st, and we're off. Wee hey, you. Kitty cute. <laughs> Come to mama. <laughs> Hello, USA! Other than that border crossing, things went pretty smooth for the next few weeks. The media got word of us, and then we started getting fan emails and tweets, and the sponsorships just poured in. People like donkeys? I think this gave them something to root for. Yeah, Kansas! Cantaloupe, 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 cantaloupe. Uh, Jay, what do you think about the donkey? Uh, Jay, what do you think? What do you think about the donkey? Hey, there's this party in Kansas City on Saturday. We should be there by then. No, man, let's, let's just keep going. We've been on the road for a month. I've earned this. This is awesome. We'll stay for an hour. If I'm going to be any part of the ass, I'm going to be the bum of the ass. Like, if there's danger, it's going to come from the front. Tom's parents adopted me. I wish I could remember more about my real parents. That is so sad. This might sound crazy, but I fell in love with her within the hour. You come in and take a look. If I hadn't met her that night, I, I'm sure we would have met at some point. I think we were meant to be together. You know, I guess I saw her as a distraction. I think we're gonna make it under schedule. Where are you right now? Colorado. What does it look like? Well, I don't know. I'm inside the donkey. <laughs> Uh. Now, how'd you do on your paper? Hi. When am I going to see you again? I really missed you. 
I miss you too. I really like it when you do that thing with, you, with your nose. Yeah. <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> but for the sixth time, go to bed. Sorry, Cindy, gotta go. Bye. Okay, bye. <sighs> <laughs> Are you kissing the screen? No. Oh my. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Call her tomorrow. Stop it. I love you. Good night. <sighs> How's Tom today? Grumpy. Maybe you should be in front of the doggy sometimes, Mark. <sighs> to Colorado. Maybe I'll come and spend a night in the suit. Do you think Tom would mind? Not at all. What? Yes, I do mind. I wonder if there's a quicker route. I really want to see you again. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> uh, what are you doing, man? I just want to hurry up and finish this. I was never one of those guys who forgot about his friends and family every time I had a girl. Save us a few days if we cut through that pass. It's an active hunting area, Mark. It's too dangerous. Every hour out here is dangerous, Tom. Oh! No, 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 We didn't notice it at the time. We were just relieved that the bullet went between Tom and I, but it hit our main water bag, a two-day supply. We walked for two days without any water. At this point, I wanted out. Things were pretty tense between Tom and I. <laughs> the cookies don't just go missing, Mark. You took them, didn't you? I didn't eat your damn cookie, Tom! <sighs> Fucking did I know you did? Why would you eat my cookie? Hey, hurry up! I need some. Wait your turn. What's the matter with you? We're fine. We got water. You knew it would be risky, and you pushed. If that bullet had been two feet to the left or the right, one of us would be dead right now. I said I was sorry. I just want to finish this. I'm calling the shot from now on. The next week was pretty hard. I mean, we, we didn't talk. We just walked. We all fall down. That's the last time. I will stand on my own to feed again. I'm fucking done. <laughs> like hell you are. No, I'm serious. I'm done. I'm out of here. You get a kiss for the first time in your life, and everything else just becomes irrelevant. <laughs> you selfish asshole! Oh, I finally found somebody! Why can't you be happy for me? Selfish? Look, I'm crossing the country and a donkey comes for you! Look, if your mom that was a selfish bitch, I mean, of all the things you could do to mess up a kid's life, 
You make a promise to cross the country in a costume. Don't you talk about my mom! You have to finish this! For you! I'm sorry, man. I shouldn't have said all that stuff. No. You're right. I've let you down. You're just trying to hold us together. And it's true. I love her. But I can't make her my life. I've been selfish these last few weeks. We decided to move forward and forget about the last few weeks. Let's finish this. No, you can do this. You can do this. Mark, if your mom could see you right now, she'd be so proud of you. Thanks, Cindy. You okay, man? Are you wearing sunscreen? None of my skin is touching the sun, but right. I can if you want me to. Uh... Tom. Tom. You may not be able to walk, but I can carry you. It was the first time in my life that Tom wasn't there for me. And I realized that it was on my shoulders now if we were going to finish this. Hang in there, fight! Come on, Tom! Give me the strength to proceed, Mom and Dad! It was around then that Mark's commitment became evident to me. Not to the journey, but to me as a brother. He carried me the last 190 kilometers to Venice Beach. Canadian duo will soon be the world champion. Palm trees, Tom! I've always wanted to see palm trees! We did it. Oh, my dear old friend, you'll always be 